Welcome to the Whiskey Explorer. Thanks so much for tuning in for another episode, guys. And if you haven't done so already, if you could please do us a quick favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button down below, and leave us a comment. Let us know if you've tried this single malt scotch. If so, what are your thoughts on it? And if you guys would also like to give me a follow, please, over on Instagram, my handle there is at Whiskey Explorer One. And tonight, guys, we have got an exciting bottle for you. We are back to my roots, we are back to single malt scotch, and we are exploring the Balvini 15 year Madeira cask. All right guys, so I do know that I have been neglecting the single malts of late. Um, I just really have been on a bourbon kick, but I did wanna get a video or two of scotches in here as well. Still absolutely love single malt scotch and that actually was my first love when I started out on my whiskey journey about four or five years ago. So I am back to some single malt and we are exploring the Balvini 15 year, which is finished in Madeira wine casks. All right, so this goes through an initial maturation process in traditional ex bourbon barrels for 15 years. Um, that's how long it matures for. And then it's transferred out into Madeira casks. And the only thing that I could find here on the back of this tube is there's a little map here, sort of almost like a flavor wheel that's got the two different cask types. And it says finished for several months in the Madeira casks. So we are expecting a little bit of uh, fruity sweetness, maybe some orchard fruits peaches, uh, pears, apples, um, maybe some red fruits, that type of thing to be imparted into the single malt scotch through that secondary maturation in the Madeira casks. So we're definitely going to jump into this one, guys. This one here is about, um, let's say it was about 145, 150 Canadian here. So guys, this is 43% ABV. So right off the bat, as you guys know, not my favorite proof point for a whiskey. Um, for a single malt scotch, I'd love to see that at 46%. Then we could be confident that it's non-chill filtered and there's probably no color added as well. That being said, guys, let's jump into this whiskey here and take a look at the color in the glass. All right, guys, so taking a look at the color in the glass, it is a very kind of nice, inviting amber color, medium amber almost like uh, you know, getting into a nice kind of inviting sunset type of color. Definitely very nice color in the glass. Let's go in for a nose, guys. Cheers. All right, so right away, guys, I can tell we are back into single malt territory here. I get a ton of butterscotch notes on the nose. I get that maltiness from the single malts. Honey, almost like a honeysuckle. And then there are some beautiful orchard fruits in here. So like a nice fresh peach note that punches through on the nose. Almost like apples and cinnamon. So a little bit of cinnamon sprinkled on some fresh cut apples. Honey, vanilla. Nice butterscotch, almost like a jammy um, type of nose to it as well. Like there's some um, ripe kind of red berry fruits on here as well. Beautiful, really super inviting nose. Let's jump in on the palate here, guys. On the palate, cheers. Okay, so soft arrival on this one. Very soft flavors to start. Just kind of some mellow vanilla, butterscotch. Little bit of apple coming in. Mid palate is where more of the orchard fruits start to show up, but there's actually a really kind of a drying effect in the mid palate as well. Almost like um, drying oak. So vanilla, butterscotch, um, that oak influence that comes in the mid palate, that definitely has a bit of a tannic and drying quality to it. So maybe definitely not my favorite expression of oak or you know the way the oak is expressing itself here is rather um, astringent, dry, um, that type of thing, whereas it's not more of the sweet vanilla oak that I, I tend to like to uh, you know find in bourbons and whatnot. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go in for a second sip here, guys, but 
very mellow arrival um, of like butterscotch, a little bit of maybe caramel, um, some vanilla sweetness, and then the orchard fruit. I, I really was getting a lot of peach on the uh, nose, but on the palate, this is more like a dry apple, like almost if you had a super dry cider. It's sort of beckoning that. And then I think that drying is, it's either a combination of it being in the oak for 15 years, the American um, X bourbon casks, or it's a combination of that with um, the Madeira cask because it's a real uh, drying effect on the mid palate for me, which is, is kind of not my favorite. It's a little bit astringent uh, in terms of the oak profile. Um, I'm gonna go in here for another sip, guys. See if I can pull some more notes here. All right, guys, so second sip, cheers. Okay guys, so even when I went in for that second sip there on the nose, very strong hints of vanilla, honey on the nose. Was really hoping for that to transfer through to the palate, but that's not quite what I'm picking up here. So the very first thing that hits the palate is quite a strong kind of cereal grain malt note, which is definitely not off-putting in any way. That's actually a pleasant note. Um, almost like almost a grassiness to it. Um, but you know that multi grain hit comes first then there's a little bit of vanilla honey and then very quickly it transitions into a mid palate experience of rather tough I would say tough astringent uh, slightly bitter oak profile and then that's kind of what you're left with it's quite drying on the palate yeah it kind of sucks the moisture right out of there so a little bit of astringency from that oak there there is Definitely a little bit of um, vanilla, um, nice vanilla profile that's left over, but it is mostly that kind of drying oak in the mid palate. And that is predominantly what is the structure of the finish here is that I, I think it's the Madeira cask influence. I'm not hundred percent sure, um, but that real kind of drying um, oak note, a little bit of bitterness on the palate, maybe a touch of honey and vanilla in there as well. And maybe this is where you're getting in the finish, a little bit more of that orchard fruit, somewhere between like a pear and an apple in there, some, something like that. Um, so for me guys, uh, my honest opinion on the single malt scotch, this is the Belvini 15 year Madeira cask finish. This would definitely be uh, classified under the try before you buy. This is not one that I'm going to be rushing out to replace. Um, it wasn't my favorite in terms of flavor profile. Um, it does have a medium to long finish. But again, that finish is primarily uh, based around that kind of dry oak, um, woody, uh, maybe a little bit of vanilla mixed in. But for me, it's kind of not enough for me to grab onto for me to kind of want to go out and repeat purchase this. So my advice on this one is to try this at a bar or try a friend's if they have one. Try before you uh, purchase this one. All right, guys. So thank you guys so much for joining me for another review. Until next time, may your sales be full and your drowns be fuller. Cheers.